everyone, it's Margaret Wallace Duffy from Wallace for Wellness, and we're here at Le Dome celebrating the Arthritis More Than Just Desserts Gala. And March is actually Juvenile Arthritis Month, so it's appropriate that we're talking about all forms of arthritis. It has no boundaries. It affects people of all ages, ethnicities, and it really impacts every aspect of life. With me now is Pamela Jarvis, who is actually diagnosed as a young child with juvenile arthritis. Welcome. Thank you. So, being diagnosed as a young girl, how has that impacted your life? Uh, hugely. It's impacted everything that I've done um, from I was a child. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, very different from other children. It impacts your ability to play and just do what every other child takes for granted, correct? Well, yeah, everything. I mean, we knew from I was young that something wasn't right. Um, I couldn't bend. I couldn't run like the other kids. I used to end up, you know, sitting on the doorstep watching them. I. I really wanted to join in, but I could, I just I was unable to because it was it was too painful. Like my mom had to, you know, bring me in and out of the bathtub, in and out of bed. My dad had to carry me up the stairs. It was very painful and socially isolating because I yeah I felt very alone. Absolutely. Now yeah. one of the good things is that the Arthritis Society offers so many wonderful programs. We are raising money tonight yep. so that we can have research. How has the Arthritis Society and its services impacted you and your family? Hugely. They've done so much. They, they, they put so much funding into research for joint replacements. I've had a few joint replacements, which has kind of totally given me a new lease on life. Like, I can walk again. I can do a lot of things that I couldn't do before. Right. Um, Medicine-wise, I'm on a really excellent medicine, a breakthrough medicine, an injection that has allowed me to go back to school and, you know, lead a more fulfilling life. Like, they've even social workers they sent in when I was young helped connect me to other young people. Because when you have arthritis, it's, it's very hard when you're young because people always think, you know, arthritis is a, a disease for old people. So they don't think that with young people. So, you know, you're kind of stigmatized when you're young. Like, nobody understands. So you feel you're, you could have a very, you know, supportive family, but nobody really understands, understands what it. you're going through. So You know what, thank you so much for sharing because we know you're not alone with the stats, the staggering that they yeah. are. We really appreciate you sharing your story. It's going to be a fun night. Yeah, definitely. And I'm glad to see you're feeling so healthy and yep. being an advocate for so many others. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Living with arthritis day to day can be a real challenge. In fact, more than 600,000 people in Canada can't work because of some form of arthritis that they're coping with. And th we have with me now Jean McKellar, who knows firsthand the impact it has on everyday life. She is a physiotherapist with the Arthritis Society. Welcome, Jean. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about what the, s the Society's role is in helping people living with arthritis. Well, one of our main roles is to educate people about their arthritis and how to manage it on a day-to-day -day basis and and uh, what to do. Right, right. And providing resources is so important. I think as Pamela was saying, they feel very isolated and they don't know what's out there for them. As a physiotherapist, what are some of the things you do to help? Well, we provide assessment. We do see the people individually or in groups to provide education, but as I say, with the individual assessments, the individual client, their joint problems, their restrictions, what kind of things they're having problems with, and then figuring out what we can do to help them. Right. And the Arthritis Society, of course, is across Canada, so it doesn't matter where you are. They do have access to many of our services across Canada, but funded physiotherapy and occupational therapy and social work is only available in Ontario. Right, right. Through our, our Ministry of Health. So that's why it's so important to educate everybody about that's what's out right. there. Exactly. And where can we get more information about the Arthritis Society? Uh, people can call in to our info line and request information. When they call in, they can speak speak to a trained volunteer, they can ask questions. Well, thank you so much for all your information. This is really, really important. And if you want more information about arthritis, you can go to www.arthritis.ca. And if you have any health and wellness questions, direct them my way to margaret at reallifeoncts.com.